Hello, Facebook land. It's your roving realtor, Bon Vivant, uh, at Monte Cristi Panama Hats in Yonville, California, Napa Valley. And as you know, it's very difficult owning a small business and uh, surviving and prevailing. I like to help small business people. Plus, as you know, I love my hats. Uh, I've probably got about four dozen fedoras, uh, at least another four dozen uh, driving caps, uh, probably 100, 200 baseball caps. So uh, we're going to check out this shop. And uh, Fabian, why don't you come over here and tell us a little bit about these uh, alpaca hats over here. Step right up, everybody. I'm going to introduce you to Fabian Anda. Is that one good-looking Ecuadorian or what? <laughs> so, uh, Fabian, uh, let's take a look at these uh, hats over here. Now, these are alpaca. Tell us a little bit about alpaca uh, as a uh, material for hats in general. What qualities does it impart? The, the alpaca generally is used to make clothes. Clothes. Garments. But... Uh, our company, I mean, me, I mean, the company that make these hats. Yeah. He had the, how do you say, the idea to make hats of alpaca uh, wool. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons you don't find uh, in too many places this kind of hat. Right. Now, these are also uh, travel friendly because you can actually crush them. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. You can travel, you can, uh, one of the, the nicest thing of these hats is that you can, um, how do you say? Fold. You can fold, you can uh, put on, the, on your luggage, and then it returns to the shape. And also, it's against the, the rain. Uh, is uh, water repair. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. And this is Bagali. Uh, they're an Italian uh, maker? Bagali is the Italian make family that lives in Ecuador. And they start making the hats in Ecuador because of the material and the, also the hand labor. Did they start uh, making the uh, Panama hats with the straw? No, 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 no. The alpaca. The alpaca and wool hats, the Bigali company. Very good. Hey, Sal, how are you doing? My classmate from the 1950s <laughs> is watching in Brooklyn. Okay. Hey, Keith, how are you? All right, so let's get to the star of the show here, and that is the uh, Panama hats. So uh, tell us about Panama hats. How long do they take? What's the technique? Uh, uh, what's the uh, price range on them? Uh, the thing is uh, the price of the, uh, the Panama hats, it depends on the kind of a straw, the type of the straw uh, that made the hat, the expertise of the weaver, and also the time they spent to, to create the hat. Mm -hmm. Is everything had made like this, they start, they start weaving from the crown and finish the hat. And more or less in, in this way. And then our company, I, the company that distribute the Panama hat, they finish the hat, just the, the band, the interior band and the exterior band, and make a shape. So tell us about the, this beauty over here. It's under glass, which means I'm either going to eat it or it's going to cost a lot of money. It costs a lot of money because it takes 1,000 hours. 1,000 hours? 1,000 hours. You, uh, this is the impossible made possible. Oh, really? Because the straw, if you can see, is so, it's like a thread. The, the weave is so fine, it almost looks like a felt, if you can see that. And, and this little beauty... You can compare. This is the standard weaving. This is like to say the... Hot bread. <laughs> yeah. You can see this is the one you sell every day, every moment. Mm -hmm. And it ranges about 100 
one kind of twenty. So you can find you can buy a genuine nice Panama hat for about one hundred twenty-five dollars. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to pay five thousand for this one here. And uh, the standard weaving, it comes. Uh, 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 how do you say less quality? Right. But we don't bring that. The one you can get in right. 50, 60, 70 dollars. But we, yeah, it's too open, and you, yeah, people doesn't like too much. Okay. So if your company goes public and you want some good head headgear, uh, here you go. I see. I, we have Chef Andrea Cavalieri. He's a very good local Sicilian chef. And Chef, uh, I think you would look very good in that. Uh, Five thousand dollar Panama hat. What do you think? Do we? Have, by the way, what size is that hat? No, we have all sizes. Yeah, all sizes of that hat. In oh, the beginning when we start uh, opening the, the hat, we only have one hat, which was the medium size. Oh, but because we are here already open seven years, we've been able to order the hat. Oh, okay. With the time, because you have to order. It takes six months to mm -hmm. make a, another hat. You oh, okay. cannot get in any store oh, okay. in Ecuador, even if you go to Ecuador. Okay. It's impossible. Well, I will. Because you have to order. I will plant this seed, uh, Fabian. Okay, I'm a real estate broker. Send me a piece of business. As soon as the escrow closes, I will come in and buy this hat. <laughs> <laughs> How's that yeah. for a deal? Uh, look, this is the, the straw comes from a farm. That farm. Uh huh. That farm. Grows in Ecuador and many other places, but I don't know why the the farm in Ecuador is a, is some special to make the hat. Good. And right. That's the way they prepare the the straw. They oh. cook, they treat, they dry, and they cut according with the necessity of the women. Very good. So uh, let's talk a little bit about these Panama hats. I see you have uh, different color Panama oh, hats. Yeah, you got yeah. blue one? Well, this is the traditional and the classic Panama hat. Mm -hmm. But lately, like uh, uh, 20 years ago, they started making a more modern with color, 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 color. Uh, yes. Combination of colors. Like this. I bought one of those in uh, red and blue the other day to go with my Ren Spooner Hawaiian shirts. This is because the people, not everybody wants the classic Panama hat. No, no. I'm gonna wear my I'm gonna wear my red and blue Panama hat <laughs> with my red and blue Ren Spooner Hawaiian shirt when I go to the Blue Note in downtown Napa. <laughs> good, I think good. I'll look cool. I'll look good, cool. Good. And tell me about the, these hats behind glass. So I'm assuming that these are going to be premium hats. This is the, pre the premium hats and the, is the same quality of the other ones. But they start from about uh, the time they create the hat. Some are in one month, two months, three months, four months, six months, uh, 1,000 hours, etc. So some are 5,000 also. But also 3,000 for uh, 2,000, 1,000. Very good. Excellent. Now we have to put this in, the, in a case because the kids usually like to, uh, to they, play with their hats. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Um, I, I find it very objectionable when people treat hats like toys. Yeah. And especially if they come near me and gro go for the grabbing my hat, I tell them, I go, do not touch the hat. Yeah, yeah. So could you give us an example of the proper way to handle a hat, Panama or otherwise, and the wrong way to handle it? The, the Panama hat usually... By the brim. By the brim. You can do this gently. Mm -hmm. But not, but but not, not pinch it. it. It's not, uh, don't it's pinch not, it. Yeah. The thing is, don't pinch it. Yeah. Why? Because with the time, about uh, six months, one year, if you keep doing this, mm -hmm. this is the delicate part of the hat. It'll break. It'll break. It'll and, crack. And you ruin the hat. Mm -hmm. Besides that, the better way is from the brim. The, from the brim. Yeah. And keep them in a hat box. And keep it in a hat box. So it doesn't get dusty? Exactly. It doesn't get dusty. 
and uh, every uh, once in a, a while you can uh, sprite from about this distance some uh, sprite of water sprayable water to get get humid oh okay that don't, makes sense get, yeah get to, 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 too dry to dry yeah okay that's a good idea. I've never done that with my Panama this hats. Is one of the, and the hat yeah. Less, uh, lo, lo, uh, lo, lo. All right, ladies. So I don't mean to scare you with a visual, but you know, I I love these hats so much. I would almost want to wear one. I know that's a terrifying visual. So, uh, Fabian, uh, tell us a little bit about these ladies' hats. It's very difficult to find uh, proper ladies' hats. Yeah, uh, uh, these hats. Even the flowers, even these are hand woven. In Ecuador. In Ecuador. This is hand woven. Everything is hand woven. And uh, also you have qualities of the straw. Mm -hmm. Some are. Uh, and what are the price ranges on these beautiful women's also, hats? Also, 100 to. A few thousand? Maybe one. No, no, no. Just one thousand. Okay, so a hundred to a thousand. Yeah, we think. But ladies, this is certainly a fashion statement, especially when you're at your Yonville or Napa Look Valley garden this, parties. This flower is also made of a straw. Hand, hand. That's beautiful. Do, Do you have hat boxes that these can fit in? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Oh, here we go. Oh. So anyway, we've got them in all colors. A little uh, bass ale and Guinness Stout. Uh, some blue, some rust, red, orange, harvest yellow. This is the, the hat box. Oh. We, we sell the fine hats with this box. Okay, I know, I just bought a couple yeah. myself. You have a handle and you can carry the, the hat everywhere and store it and store it yes yes i have uh, all my hats in my entryway my wife doesn't <laughs> like that yeah. my wife doesn't like that so let's go over and take a look at this uh, fine item over here tell us a little bit about vicuña what exactly is it and tell me about these beautiful Garments. Well, this is something special you don't find, you don't find uh, not too many places. I think in New York, maybe in, in Los Angeles, one or three or four places in the United States. Really? Just a handful of places? Yeah. The, the vicuña, or vicuna, like the people say in English, is a llama, very very small, mm. but the, 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 how do you say, the wool is something. Yeah, the coat. The coat is, is, is the best of the world. It's one of the expensive garments. In. Now, I did have an opportunity to touch the fabric, yeah, the fabric. and it makes cashmere feel like a Brillo pad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> of course. Yes. Of course, it's very fine, but this is the finest, the finest. You can get it in a garment. That's right. And when you go public, uh, you know, you can have uh, that uh, jacket for uh, only $14,000. Yes, this is $14,000. <laughs> this is $10,000. The poncho. The scarf, $2,000. And let's hope the stock market holds up for all my Silicon Valley and also, friends. And also, as you can see, I have to put this on uh, under the... Under lock and key. Yeah, because it is... I don't want the, the kids especially. They oh, yeah, like they to play. Yeah, they want to play toys, yes. Very good. Okay, and let us take a look at the, the, the cashmere coats. Oh, the cashmere coats. Yes. This is cashmere. This is also very fine cashmere from Europe. Uh, the cashmere is from uh, Turkey, but the designer is from Italy. It's oh. Loro Piana. Oh, yes, Loro Piano. Uh, I am very familiar. Colombo. 
That's right. When I go into a Laura Piano store and they come to me, I refer them to my brother Joe, who has <laughs> stock options. For example, these, as you can see, Laura Piano. This is a cotton, no? But this is also designed by Laura Piano. Bellissimo. This is uh, the, another uh, exclusive thing we have. Very good. And uh, let's uh, take a look at these colorful, uh, are these scarves, uh, ponchos, wraps? Yeah, this is also a large coat from... Uh, oh, overcoats. Yeah, also for cashmere. Full-length cashmere overcoats. Very good. And what are these? Now the, come the section of the alpaca, which is the relative of the, the vicuña, mm -hmm. but is more popular. But that doesn't mean it's not a fine mm -hmm. garment. It's a fine garment, but it's not so expensive like the other one. But you can get these beautiful uh, scarves, handmade, and uh, the prices run from 100 to 400. And, and are they scarves or wraps or scarves, both? Scarves. 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 Scarves and, and these are the... Like, like a, a poncho, like a wrap. Like a wrap, yeah. Yeah, like a wrap. Very good, very good. And also these are the, all of these. One are combined with silk. Mm -hmm. Some, some uh, scarves are combined with silk or with wool. They are a combination with alpaca. And alpaca. So sounds like a very nice, soft fabric. Is it I, soft? I thought I was doing good with my cashmere scarves. I have <laughs> yet to experience one of these. Like you see the... the um, this is the alpaca. It's a fabric. It's a beautiful fabric. And uh, the, like you see, the vicuña is fourteen thousand mm dollars. -hmm. This is similar at the vicuña, but it is about one thousand dollars, one thousand two hundred. That's a very much uh, affordable yes. for the people. Yes, indeed. And I see you okay. have even more hats down here that I missed. Combination of colors. Oh, look at that, ladies. For Christmas and Valentine's Day. Uh, poncho with uh, black. And we have a special, a special poncho, which is made of baby alpaca. Baby alpaca. What does that mean? The alpaca, the first shear. The first shear. Shear mm -hmm. is the best. Mm. So, it's only one time you can do that. Yes. Because they, they grow. They, that's it. They are not anymore baby alpaca. Oh. So, that's a little bit more expensive. All of this, Carmen. Very good. Um, now, I would like to give you my own little quick tour and ask Fabian a little bit about the store. Because, you know, when I went to Via Spiga, Via Monte Napoleone, the stores in Milano are absolutely fantastic. So, Fabian, uh, tell me, who uh, designed the store and who has laid out the merchandising of this beautiful store? Uh, the thing is, we, we used to travel a lot to Europe, especially Milan, especially to uh, Rome, and uh, beautiful places where you can see beautiful stores. And we used to have the store in another place here, which is in the uh, B Market Place. Yeah, Yanville 1870, the brick yeah. building. But it was in second floor, and it was not so well decorated. Yeah, no street uh, visibility. Yeah. So when we have the opportunity of one customer that used to come to the store and buy very fine hat, which is our neighbor, uh, handwritten uh, wines. So they say, uh, would you like to come to, to a state in our place because we need a, a retail place? And, and, and I think 
you are the best in Yambi. The best oh, quality so one of your customers recruited you to come yeah, here. He, they asked us to come here. Oh, nice. So nice. that is the, the history. And then, we co uh, because we are not designers, but we uh, contracted, contracted? Contracted, yeah. A Japanese designer in here in Napa, mm -hmm. which is Miyuki Yamaguchi, and we told her what we want. Yeah, well, I get that from uh, this uh, little treatment on the ceiling, yeah, for the sure. Yeah, the ceiling, it is a, 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 a grape leaf, as you can see. Oh, grape leaves. Yes, the, the grape leaves, and this is to resemble the material that we make the hats. Oh, very cool. So it's a <laughs> combination, a nice combination. I knew I liked this place the first day and I moved in, wa walked in. That resembles the, the grapes. Ah, yes. The way the, the way the mesh is shaped. Yeah. Mm hmm Very good. And uh, finally, let's take a look at some of these ceramics down at the end, Fabian, and tell us a little bit about this. Obviously, I need to make a trip to Ecuador because there's so many beautiful things in Ecuador. Yeah. Muralist and ceramist Eduardo Vega, which is very famous in, in Ecuador and South America. And he doesn't have It's you and your wife Mercedes. My wife and me, yes. And, Catal and Catarina. Catalina. Carolina. Carolina. In Spanish. Your daughter. It's like a state, you know, the state of yes. Carolina or Carolina. And uh, what time do you open? We usually open at 10 and we close at 6. But we, when we are here, my wife and me, we usually leave the, the the people come, for example, over there, they are trying to get into after six. Yeah, there sure. Are many people that after six come to open, but usually our employee, she left at six. Right, right. So anyway, as uh, I uh, mentioned in my photos yesterday, uh, in the past I have uh, bought most of my hats at... Uh, Capilleria Antica in Campobasso, Utz in Seattle, Bencroft in Brooklyn, and Meyer in uh, New Orleans in the French Quarter. And, of course, they had guys in Oakland, but they went out of business. So I am delighted that I have a local hat store. And as I was going out the house today, Ellen said to me, John, you can't buy a new hat every time you visit Monte Cristi hat. So I made an arrangement. I can only buy a hat every other time that I come here. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to buy a hat is not like to buy any other uh, thing because uh, you don't buy hats every month. 
No. You, you buy hats every year, maybe, or maybe two years. So the customers are not always the same. Mm -hmm. Very, very, how do you say, variety of customers. Indeed. But the rest of the things, yeah, we sell, uh, we have uh, regular customers for the coats, for Good. the alpacas. Yes. Well, now I'm a repeat customer. Because I have purchased two hats. Yeah, <laughs> you had repeat one of the, the few. That's right, that's right. Very good. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, don't forget, I am a real estate broker for uh, San Francisco Bay Area. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or exchange any real estate, please uh, give me a call, message me on Facebook. And uh, please don't hesitate the next time you're in the North Bay to uh, come up and uh, visit Fabian and Mercedes and... Uh, Carolina, and uh, put some good headgear on and upgrade your uh, wardrobe. Bye for now.